video is going to be how I survive without my husband for eight days with four children. Let me tell you, the first week, this is the second week, this is coming on the second week of him being gone. He leaves today. And everybody's telling me that it's going to be harder the second week, that it's crazy, that the kids are going to be worse. And I am dreading it, and I am preparing myself for the worst. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But I'm preparing myself for the worst, because the kids had 12 days without him, and now we're going back to 8 days without him. And the kids are used to him being home now, so they're not going to get used, they're going to have to worry about leaving again. So I'm worried that the kids are going to freak out, that when they talk to daddy, they're going to cry. My youngest one, Henry, he's such a daddy's boy, I'm afraid he's going to flip out. But... Here's my list. It's not fine tooth yet because, like I said, this is the second week. Um, so, I make sure that I wake up Amelia around, well, she usually wakes up around 5, 5.30ish, and she feeds, and then she usually goes back to sleep, so then it's easier when I wake up at 6.30 with the other children that she stays asleep and doesn't wake up, and then I can get the other kids fed and dressed and ready for school so we're not running around with our heads cut off. I always make sure the kids' book bags are out and ready, like all their homework is done, their notebooks are put up. If they have something they need to send to school, it's in their book bag already, and I have it sitting out on the couch right by the door. And I always make sure their clothes are put out, usually the night before too, so that I don't have to run around looking for underwear and socks and shirts and everything. Um, I always clean while the baby is sleeping. If she is sleeping in the swing, if she's sleeping in my bedroom, I always make sure that I clean. If there's a spill, I, if it's something major, I usually clean it right away. If it's something like the dishes or the dishwasher, dishwasher needs to be cleaned out, I usually do that when she's sleeping. I always vacuum when she's a, sleeping too, or when she's awake. She likes the sound of the vacuum. I vacuum a lot. I use my vacuum more than anything else in the house. Um... I have learned to pick my battles with my children. Like, if Henry wants a color, I'll let him pull out all the crayons, let him pull out all the coloring books, and let him sit on the floor and color. I just need to make sure that I keep an eye on him because he likes to run off of crayons and I end up finding crayon marks on the walls. So, I have to make sure that I keep an eye on him with the crayons because he just likes, he's very sneaky. If I turn around, he just runs. And then I find crayons in Finn's room and Henry's room and Chloe's room. They're everywhere. Um, I don't worry about the small things anymore. I used to worry about them spilling milk or if they made a mess in their room. Now I'm like, you know what? You can just clean your room to get home from school. You can clean your room tomorrow. I just learned to pick my battles. I learned to pick, not worry about the small things and pick my battles. I used to freak out. I'm very OCD. I used to freak out about everything. And now I'm just like, you know what? Just let it go. Like the song, let it go. I just let it go. I just don't even worry about it. I just, I deal with it later. Um, I always make sure that the kids have homework. I always do it right away. As soon as they come home, we work with Finn's ABCs and his counting. And if he has a sheet that he needs to do or something else that he needs to do, I always make sure that we do it right away, right before dinner and baths and bed and everything else. Because at nighttime, it gets very crazy in our house. Like, everybody's running around to get ready for bed, get baths, get cups, get to bed, get movies on. Yes, my kids go to bed with TV, but they're always on a timer and they always go off at a certain time. I have to have a schedule. My kids have to have a schedule. They wake up every day at the same time, besides on the weekends. Saturday and Sundays, I let them sleep in just a little bit. But... Monday through third Friday is there's a set schedule. We wake up at the same time, we eat breakfast at the same time. Everything has to be set. Or Finn, who has ADHD, gets he freaks out, and then the whole day is just horrible from just one little incident. Ask for help. My grandmother lives three doors up, which is a godsend. I don't drive, so my grandma has to take me everywhere, which I plan on learning how to drive soon. Um, I have to learn to ask for help, like. The first week my husband was gone, Amelia was screaming. I was trying to cook dinner, and I was like, what am I going to do? So I was like, Grandma, can you come and help? So she held the baby and fed her while I made dinner for everybody else. And then finally, when I got to sit down, she was fine because Grandma, you know, took care of it. But all my friends were like, oh, just call me if you need help, or I'll take the kids. And I'm just like, I can't do it. I need to learn to do it myself. But I have learned that I really do need to ask for help. If I need help, I need 
to just call somebody and not freak out and just call somebody to have have them help me because it can get very very stressful and you don't want to freak out on your children or you don't want to cry you don't want to like have a nervous breakdown just ask for help thank you if you have any questions please comment below and please like and subscribe to my channel